हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर एस पी सिंह फ्रॉम फैकल्टी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज गुरुकुल कांगड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी हरिद्वार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मॉड्यूल 19 ऑन रिपोर्ट राइटिंग आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू शैल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड the basic objectives of writing a research report classify the various types of research reports understand the process of report writing and presentation in business research understand the key features of the report format identify the needs of the reader and formulate a report to match the requirements design effective and focused presentation of findings understand the relevance of oral presentations of research the ultimate step in the research process is the preparation and presentation of the research report if the results of the research are not summarized and communicated to making management in a form that is both understandable and useful preparation and presentation of the research report is the most important part of the research report if the report is causing confusion or written in an appropriately all the time and effort is spent on collection and analysis of data would not provide any results the preparation of a research report is simply the presentation of research findings to a specific audience the vital ingredients of this communication process are the written research report and the oral presentation typically provided for those who occupy executive positions objectives of report writing the basic objectives of report writing are as follows the research report fulfills the historical task of serving as a concrete proof of the study that was undertaken this serves the purpose of providing a framework for any work that can be conducted in the same or related areas it is the complete detailed report of the research study undertaken by the researcher thus it needs to be presented in a comprehensive and objective manner this is a one way communication of the researcher's study and analysis to the reader or manager and thus needs to be all inclusive and yet neutral in its reporting for academic purposes the recorded document presents a knowledge base on the topic under study and for the business manager seeking help in taking more informed decisions the report provides the necessary guidance for taking appropriate action as the report documents all the steps followed by and the analysis carried out it also serves to authenticate the quality of the work carried out and establishes the strength of the findings obtained thus effective recording and communicating of the results of the study becomes an extremely critical step of the research process based on the nature of the research study and the researcher's orientation the report can take different forms types of research reports technical or popular in orientation writing style use of key terms and length higher the executive status the shorter the report
depending upon its target audience, the research report may be either technical or popular in orientation. While both approaches follow the same procedure in describing the research study, its methodology, findings and conclusions, as well as recommendations, they can differ in their writing style, use of key terms and length. Usually, the higher the executive status of the audience, the shorter the report will tend to be. The major types of report are brief reports. Brief reports are not formally structured and are usually brief, often not exceeding four to five pages. The scope of the information provided is limited and is prepared either for immediate consumption or as a prelude to the formally structured report. Such reports could be framed in the form of working papers or basic reports and survey reports. Working papers or basic reports are written for the purpose of collating the process carried out in terms of scope and framework of the study, the methodology followed and instrument designed. The results and findings also need to be recorded. However, the interpretation of the findings and study background might not necessarily be there as the focus is more on the present study rather than past literature. Survey reports might or might not have an academic orientation. The focus is to present findings in easy to comprehend format that includes figures and tables. The advantage of these reports is that they are simple and easy to understand and present the findings in a clear and usable format. Detailed reports. The popular report is generally intended for a more general audience who is not conversant with the minute details of research methodology and terms. Compared to the technical report, the presentation of the detailed reports will be a little more live with increased attention to headlines, flow diagrams, charts, tables, and occasional summaries for the purpose of stressing major points. Besides, different kinds of audience may be interested in the result of the same marketing research study. It is sometimes essential to write in the form of both a technical report and a popular report. Technical reports. The technical report is usually aimed at other researchers. The report should enable another researcher to be a critic of methodology, calculations, and find out accuracy and to follow on step-by-step -step basis. A brief definition of any technical terms should be given. Business reports. These reports would not have technical rigor and details of the technical report and would be in the language and include conclusions as the business manager understands and requires. The different tables, figures and numbers of the first report would be pictorially shown as bars and graphs and the reporting tone would be more in business terms rather than in conceptual or theoretical terms. If needed, the tabular data might be attached in the appendix. Structure of the research report. The structure of the research report is mostly the same as the structure of the research itself. The common outline of the research report includes problem, methodology, 
and results, interpretation and conclusions. Problem. The problem section varies greatly in different reports. In thesis and books, the problem section is usually long and detailed. In published research reports, it is restricted to a minimum. The basic purpose is to appraise the reader about the research report. Sometimes the problem is stated in question form. The statement of the general problem is often not strictly stated and operational, rather it establishes the general stage for the reader. The sub-problems, however, should be more precise and should consist implications for testing. Some report writers state the general and specific hypothesis rather than state the problems. Defining the variables is an important part of the statement of the problem. This section usually also includes the discussion of general and research literature related to the research problem. Another reason for review of literature is to tell the reader what research has and has not been done on the problem. Thus, the researcher identifies the research gap and must show that his particular investigation has not been done before. The underlying purpose, of course, is to identify the present research in the body of research existing on the subject and to point out its contribution to the subject. Methodology. The function of the methodology is to inform the reader what was done to solve the problem. Extensive care must be taken to report that the criterion of replicability is satisfied. It should be possible for another researcher to reproduce the research, to reanalyze the data, or to arrive at unambiguous conclusions as to the adequacy of the methods and data collection. The first part of the methodology should inform about the sample or samples used, the method of their selection, and the justification for the use of a specific method of selection of sample. If the samples were randomly selected, the method of random sampling should also be specified. The method of testing the hypothesis should be reported in detail. In case of experimental study, the manner in which the independent variable has been manipulated is described including the instruments used. Instructions to the subjects, control precautions, and the like. If the study has been ex post facto, the procedures used to collect data are explained. The report of any empirical study must include an account of the measurement of the variables of a study. The description of the measurement of the variables may take up most of the methodology section. A factor analytic study may require lengthy descriptions of measurement instruments and how they were used. On account of the data analysis methods used is sometimes put into the methodology section, sometimes in the analysis interpretation section. The analysis methods must be outlined and justified. In several investigations, pilot studies and pre-testing are used. If so, what was done and the outcome of what was done are reported. Results, interpretation, and conclusions. There may be two or three sections of this part of the report. Since the interpretation of results and the conclusions drawn 
from the results are so often reported together in journal research reports in a thesis or book. However, it may be desirable to separate the data from their interpretation and from the conclusions. The results of data of a research study are the raw materials for the solutions of the research problem. The data and their analysis are the hypothesis testing stuff of research. Methodology and data collection are tools used to obtain the raw material of hypothesis testing the data. It is to be reported whether the data support or not support the hypothesis. The methodology, data collection, and analysis are selected and used for the purpose of testing the operational hypothesis deducted from the general research questions. Therefore, the report writer must be exceptionally careful to report his results as accurately and completely as possible, informing the reader how the results bear on the hypothesis. It is useful to reduce the data and the results of the data analysis to condensed form, particularly tables. The researcher should thoroughly digest the data before writing. In the final section of the research report, the limitations and weaknesses of the study should be discussed to enable the reader to judge the validity of the conclusions drawn from the data and the general worth of the study. Limitations of social, scientific, and educational research generally emerge from sampling and subject assignment inadequacies, methodological weaknesses, and statistical deficiencies. Lack of random sampling limits the conclusions to the particular sample used. Lack of random assignment casts doubt on the adequacy of the control of independent variables and thus on the conclusions. Statistical deficiencies similarly can lead to incorrect conclusions. Deficiencies in measurement always affect conclusions too. If a measurement instrument is only moderately reliable, a finding may be ambiguous and inconclusive. Most important, the questionable validity of an instrument may seriously change a conclusion. Report formulation. While writing the report, it must be kept in mind that the document compiled is meant for specific readers. Thus, the writer needs to design the same according to the needs of the reader. Some of the important features of a good research study should be focused while documenting and preparing the report. Clear report mandate, clearly designed methodology, clear representation of findings, representativeness of study findings. Friends, in this module, you have studied the objectives of report writing, various types of research reports, the process of report writing, and presentation in business research, the key features of report format, the needs of the reader, and formulate a report to match the requirements, effective and focused presentation of findings, and the relevance of oral presentations of research. Thanks for visiting EPG Partshala.